how do you spell tomorrow? Is it capital C, lowercase h-a-m-o-r-r-o? Capital C, lowercase h-a-m-o-r-u? Or capital C-h, lowercase a-m-o-r-u? Guahu si pulen. And in this video, I will explain why there are three different spellings of the word tomorrow. The short answer is that Guam and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, the CNMI, have adopted different Samoro orthographies or spelling systems. Both systems descend from the first standardized Samoro orthography produced by the Marianas Orthography Commission in 1971. The CNMI orthography adopted in 2010 officially uses what is known as the traditional spelling of Samoro, capital C, lowercase h-a-m-o-r-r-o. This spelling is the oldest known spelling of Tsamoru, appearing as early as 1727 in a Spanish manuscript. It was based on Spanish spelling at the time and eventually became the most common way of spelling Tsamoru. The CNMI retained this traditional spelling for its orthography because it has been used for centuries. On the other hand, the spelling capital C lowercase h-a-m-o-r-u appears in the 1983 Tamoro orthography of Guam. The 1983 orthography was a revision of the 1971 orthography by the Guam Tamoro Language Commission. The older orthography did not apply its spelling rules to the traditional spelling of Tamoro, hence why the 1971 orthography uses the traditional spelling. However, the 1983 orthography applied the spelling rules to the word Tamoro. The change was made to more accurately reflect the Tsamoru sound system. The 1983 spelling removed the Spanish double R, since it doesn't exist in Tsamoru, and the traditional letter O used at the end of the word was changed to U. To reflect the actual Tsamoru pronunciation where the word contains an unstressed vowel in an open syllable. Crucially, the 1983 orthography indicates that the digraph CH is to be treated as a single letter to represent the T sound. However, in line with orthographies of nearly every other language, only the first letter of the digraph is capitalized C, not the second letter H, resulting in capital C, lowercase h-a-m-o-r-u. Keep this info in mind for later. Furthermore, the 1983 orthography makes a distinction. When writing in English, the traditional spelling is used, but the new spelling should be used when writing in Samoru. The spelling of Samoru became a topic of debate in the early 1990s. Advocates for the new spelling argued that it conforms to the sound system of the 1983 Samoru orthography and illustrates indigenous agency. As it was Tamorus deciding their own rules rather than foreigners. Advocates for the traditional spelling argue that changing the spelling would be logistically difficult and that the traditional spelling has been in use for centuries and people were accustomed to it. In 1994, Guan's Tamoru Language Commission formally changed the traditional spelling of Tamoru to Tamoru with the RU ending. However, due to public resistance, the Guam legislature made a law which made the long-held traditional spelling of Tsamoro the official spelling. In 1999, the Tsamoro Language Commission was dissolved and its duties transferred to the Department of Tsamoro Affairs. Despite the traditional spelling being made official in 1994, some Tsamoros continued to use the 1983 spelling. Additionally, a few Tsamoros began capitalizing both letters in the digraph CH during the 1990s and 2000s. This led to Guam's current official spelling of Tsamoro, capital CH lowercase a-m-o-r-u which appeared in law in 2017. Although the law does not explicitly state that this spelling of Tsamoru is the official spelling, it's clear from the repeated usage of the spelling that it's going to be the official spelling. The same law re-established the Tsamoru Language Commission task with updating the Tsamoru orthography. The commission revised the 1983 orthography to produce the 2019 Samoro orthography, which explicitly declared that Samoro would be spelled as capital C-H, lowercase a-m-o-r-u. This spelling largely follows the reasoning of the 1983 orthography, 
reflecting Samoru pronunciation by removing the Spanish double R and changing the traditional letter O to U. However, unlike the 1983 orthography's capitalization rule, which did not capitalize both letters of the digraph CH, the 2019 commission decided to capitalize both letters of the CH digraph to emphasize that it is considered one letter and sound. So officially, the letter is not to be said as CH as I have been doing for explanation purposes, but rather as TE. This spelling change was, of course, controversial and sparked heated debate. Detractors argue that capitalizing both letters in a digraph is unprecedented, as nearly every other language only capitalizes the first letter in a digraph, even when the digraph is treated as a single letter. With the controversy of the spelling, Guam's 2020 updated orthography includes a page dedicated to explaining this spelling. In conclusion, the adoption of different Samoru orthographies explains why there are different spellings of Samoru. Guam officially uses the spelling with capital C-H, lowercase a-m-o-r-u, while the CNMI officially uses the traditional spelling of Samoru, capital C, lowercase h-a-m-o-r-r-o. If you liked and enjoyed the video, consider supporting me on Patreon so I can continue to produce more Pacific Studies content. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, follow me on social media at Poulin Speaks. And a special Sinsuus Masi to Patreon supporters Buti Un, Dylan Sablon, and Jesse Babauta. Sinsuus Masi for watching Guahusi Poulin and Poulin has spoken. Esta.